friends and welcome to my youtube channel named multitasking breaks in this video we will be learning how to obtain different kinds of waveforms on cathode ray oscilloscope using function generator so for that we require a CRO a function generator and a CRO probe to connect function generator to CRO so first of all we have to switch on function generator as well as CRO we have to switch it on switch it on again function generator to CR using CRO probe. We have connected it as soon we are getting the line using Y shift we can shift this line to Y axis as shown this and using X shift we can shift this line to X axis and this is for frequency if we uh, switch it we will get amplitude of different kind we can change using this uh, knob and by switching again we will get in the frequency as it is in megahertz we can change the range to kilohertz as i switch it to kilohertz i can increase or decrease its value using this knob uh, this is uh, 1.75 kilohertz now channel we have shifted to channel 1 and this volt per division is 2 volt per division for each division we have the value of 2 volts and this time per division for each division we have the time period of 20 uh, we can change it accordingly 5 milliseconds now channel 1 so we can give we have, we have given the square waveform we can give triangle waveform as well to change the amplitude amplitude frequency As the probe is connected to the function side, we are getting the function. Here we have switched it to sine wave, that's why we are getting sine wave. We can change voltage, voltage per divisions. That means for each division we can change the voltage, voltage rating. Here is 0.5, that is for each division the voltage is 0.5. We can change it accordingly. Uh, in the same way we can get square uh, triangle waveform by switching the mode of function generator to triangle waveform as we can see this is the triangle waveform in the same way we can get square waveform as well this is y shift for channel 1 here we have connected the uh, CRO probe to channel 1 and so we can use y shift 1 to change the uh, shift uh, y axis of uh, the signal so in the same way there is y shift 2 for another signal if we take two signals at the same time but x shift is common for both the channels so this is a time base that is for that is for each each square that is uh, the time is 10 microsecond 10 microsecond for each division we can also change it accordingly uh, here we will measure the values okay. uh, since the wave is uh, on one division that is one volt so the value of this uh, waveform in positive side is 1 volt and the time base that is time period for each division is 20 microsecond for each cycle we have to measure the time 20 20 
20 3 divisions we have to measure the value for 3 divisions 3 into 20 that is 60 microsecond so the time period of this waveform is uh, 60 microsecond that is 3 into 20 in the same way we can measure peak to peak voltage that is 1 1 point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1.8 into 1, uh, that is 1.8 plus plus 1 volt on the upper side. So the peak to peak value is uh, 2.8 volts. Thank you.